Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Numbers chapter 10, verse number 9. When you go to battle, blow the shofar, blow the trumpet, and the Lord your God will come and he will rescue you. That's what the Bible says, folks. That's why we blow the trumpet. That's why we blow the horn. Because the scripture says when you go to battle, and truly speaking, we are in the place and in the time of battle. But we know that our God will fight for us. He says when you go in the time of battle, uh, you blow that horn, you blow at the trumpet, and the Lord will fight for you, and the Lord will be on your side, and the Lord will give you victory. He will remember you. That's what the Bible says. The Lord will remember you in the time of your battle. That is Numbers chapter 10 verse 9. When you go into battle in your own land against the enemy who is oppressing you, sound a blast on the trumpets that you will be remembered by the Lord. So this pandemic that's oppressing us when we pray and we blow our shofars, not only do we signify the beginning of a prayer watch, the first watch of the night, which starts at 6 p.m. Uh, into to 9 p.m., that's the first watch of the night. The second watch is 9 to 12 uh, midnight. And the third watch is 12 to 3 in the morning. And the last watch of the night is 3 to 6 in the morning. So these are watches of the night. The people in the Bible understood prayer watches, uh, that they go in three hours, prayer watches. So the beginning of this evening watch, we blow the shofar and we ask the Lord, will you help us? Will you fight for us? Will you remember us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, welcome folks in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me welcome all of you coming in right now. Quickly, let me welcome Uzikona Veli. Le bless you and welcome. The Clampton family, Berlin Veli, bless you and welcome. My wife, Biggie, bless you and welcome, babe. And Yvonne Buddy, bless you and welcome from uh, um, uh, Beacon Bay, I believe. Uh, Norman de Mabunu, bless you and welcome. And uh, Tembaga, Tembaga, Zimande, Etewini, bless you and welcome. Uh, the, the Khalas in Queenstown, bless you and welcome. Pidilo Obuche, Anki, bless you and welcome. Tosh Tubula, Ezwelicha, bless you and welcome. Fundiswa, Chatisa, Ezwelicha Zone, bless you Welcome, and we've got Uvava Mkoko Epelin, bless and welcome to Nambanem Tata, bless and welcome, and we've got Uzuki Mateza, bless Uzuki, and in and Kingdom Stands on one, the Mshanga family, Kingdom Stands on one, Unosipo Nom Tutu, Mtua P Northwest, bless and welcome, Dombi Mapozwana in Saudi Arabia, Asalam Maleko, bless and welcome, we've got Masandi, Mayedwa, there in Kingdom Stands on two, bless you, Mama, Ukitua family in Dimbaza Zone, bless and welcome, Puti Makwe, my sister in law. Bless and welcome in Sibukeng and uh, the Mamkiu. Bless and welcome M Tata and we've got to see Madame Pukan and PE. Bless and welcome Lele. Bless and welcome Nozo uh, in Bisho Zone. Bless and welcome and we've got to Abusi Musiane. Bless and welcome and the Matozmas in Bisho Zone. Bless and welcome. We've got Lydia Salgazan as well. Zone. Uh, bless and welcome Nolotano Daniels in Bisho Zone. Bless and welcome. We've got Loiso, Jojo, Epata, Wethetua, bless and welcome. We've got Noma Shubimini, Kingstons on one, bless and welcome. Kolega Nureni, bless and welcome. No, and then we've got uh, uh, Yolisa Blacky, bless and welcome. Dosh Tubula, Zulich Zone, bless and welcome. And of course, uh, Dosh Chukuchu, East London Zone, bless and welcome. Funda Lunka, bless and welcome. Z Madlingozi, bless and welcome. Uh, Sezo in uh, Breibach, we've got Tandi Sigati, Zulich Zone, bless and welcome. We've got Kanyisa Kolega Kusselo, PE, bless and welcome. Lee Jack and E, bless and welcome. Mamu Mango, bless and welcome. Kim Sons on two. And we've got Uzo uh, Zomyeki. So, bless and welcome. Uh, all right. Is Kungi says, Figila Mamango, Sia Ble. And uh, we've got uh, Zo Zomtana, Elva Bankens, bless and welcome. Akona Mazwana, bless and welcome. Noctula Gadu, bless and welcome. Funda Lumka, bless you and welcome, says Lumka. And uh, we've got in the US, I believe, uh, we've got also Nomkita Fani, bless and welcome. Asanta Sokoni, bless and welcome. Uh, in Bisho Zone, Menzingwanya in Queensland Zone 2, Nene Smelelani, uh, Smelela, I should say, bless and welcome, Isama Greens, Nonsing Lelakuta in Goodwood, Cape Town, bless and welcome, Stulele Chevu, bless and welcome, in uh, Zwelich Zone, I believe, or East London, Kanyisa Kuselo, Kingston Zone 2, uh, Linde Lozonyani, bless you and welcome, 
Where are you watching from, Linda Loire? Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Bless you and welcome. All right. Uh, okay, we have Unomo and Mabunu. Bless you and welcome in Queenstown. Mfundiswa uh, Ashe. Bless you and welcome. And we've got Asanda Sokoni in Bisha Zone. Bless you and welcome. Mfundiswa Ashe, of course, is in, is in Zwelich Zone. And we've got uh, the Mtanas in uh, uh, PE. And we've got Birum Ziligazi. Bless you and welcome in PE. Also, Noxingongo uh, with Lele Zoli. Bless you and welcome. Where are the boys? Uh, bless and welcome, Noctula Gadu. Bless and welcome in Bisha Zone. And we've got Dumbuming Wagazi. Bless and welcome in Kingstown Zone 2. Unati Blaki. Bless and welcome in Bisha Zone. And we've got Nompumela Lomwanza. Bless and welcome, Mtata. Nukanyo Fesi. Bless and welcome. Uh, that is the Fesi family in Kubev Zone. We've got Mamutuili. Bless and welcome uh, in Zulicha Zone. And we've got uh, Ulinde Elwa Zunyani in Roland Park. Bless you, Ulinde Elwa. Uh, in PE, bless you and welcome. No man gets it to Deezer. Kim stands on two. Busi Smith, Mamu Katana. Uh, Pumlani, bless you and welcome. Uh, and then Mami Randam to our peer Pisha Zone and Noctula Nungwane Estatara and bless you and welcome. Sispula Tabata and Beacon Blade, bless you and welcome. And we've got uh, um, Yishka uh, Krawe, uh, Maurice Krawe in Northern Cape. It's been a while, good to see you. Uh, Noctuaba Moyo, bless you and welcome. Zonke Va, bless you and welcome. The Va family, Nolvuyo Kaba, bless you and welcome. Nobisa uh, Jezula, Jezula, bless you and welcome. In PE, uh, Dalinge Bopo. Oh, no. It's been a while. Good to see you. Bless and welcome. Uh, we've got uh, also the Macomas in Emonti. Bless and welcome. Nonfundo Faltain. Bless and welcome in PE. And uh, Monica uh, PK. Bless and welcome. Or Pike. Uh, bless and welcome. Wendy Manda. Bless and welcome. And we've got uh, um, and Mo Monica Pike is in uh, Kimberley. And we've got also Kanye Saddam. Bless and welcome. Uh, this is Kanye in Kimberley Town Zone 1. All right. Thank you so much, folks. And it's wonderful to have all of us here. So Bulela Bazulani get special to class palona local tandas as a buyel and tickle who go to tickle sense and like in prison cool as in as Bambi guy. We are very excited. Uh, we know we've just received news that one of the private hospitals here in Buffalo City there's ICU ward, uh, you know, which is uh, COVID 19 ward, which was reserved for that, is empty. You know, uh, you know, that that's just a blessing. It's, a, it's an answer to prayer, and we pray that it's not just one incident. We pray that that will become a norm and that will become going forward not only in this particular private hospital but in all others that God will just duplicate, duplicate, duplicate let's see something exciting let's see something great let's see God just beginning to do something miraculous because it shows that because God is a God who answers prayer we give thanks and we give honor now we are praying on the subject of victory on every side victory on every side so let us pray right now and welcome the Holy Spirit as he helps us to pray this evening with the wonderful things that you are doing with the great things you are doing we give you thanks we give you praise for this particular one testimony god almighty of an empty icu ward which was reserved for covid 19 and it's empty because there are no covid 19 patients uh, lord god almighty in that ward and there are no new ones coming in lord god almighty we pray that that will be the status of our entire province and our entire entire nation and our entire world. Begin that new process Father. Clean up God Almighty these wards. Clean up these ICU wards of COVID patients. Clean up Father God even isolation areas and quarantine areas. Let people be healed and be discharged. Let there be a supernatural working of God everywhere Lord. Do it again Father. We thank you that you're a God who answers prayer and you will do it again. We pray in Jesus' name and God's people say amen. All right, the first prayer point is in uh, Psalms chapter 3, verse 1 and verse 3 to 4 and verse 6. It says, Lord, how many are they are my foes? How many rise up against me? But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, and the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I will not fear, though ten thousands assail me on every side. So in other words, as I was meditating and receiving this word on victory on every side, I realized that sometimes life can just be exactly like that. 
Things can just be everywhere around you, just one after the other bombarding you, you know, financial situation, you know, physical situation, career pressure, you know, marital pressure, you know, uh, children pressure, husband pressure, wife pressure, uh, you know, church pressure. I mean, just everything, just emotional pressure, you know, COVID pressure. You find that it's just all around you. You just, stuff is just rising up. And so, so David or the psalmist was in that situation said, many are they that rise us up against me. Many are they that say there is no help for him, God, but thou, O oh Lord, are a shield. So let us pray that the Lord will become a shield. Le Enva Gwale Enva Gwale Udusa Chongele Uti Kile Udusa Chongele Komba Hey Gu Velenje Rati Yonkin Tonje Velenje Is a Yong and Clash Ling Uti Tomakunja Utu David Koto when Ancosi Uli Kakaletu Koto when Ancosi Uli Kakaletu Usis Kubu Telesetu Gue Osi Zungezileo Gue Osi Osingongileo Osi Chigeles Iosi Kusele Masem Telu Tito Abeli Kakaletu Jangoba Uti Kile Na Lea Avelasu Kusele Serious go down down and cock up. Uvenge ume quel tala. A fellow titabunga who kusela who chigeles. Zbeta pagutik. Zinga des fear who we are born. Umanus born as new god as beta pagutik. As it is to me, so may the Lord be a shield around you so that whatever attacks, whatever things come, whatever pressures, whatever challenges, they just hit this shield. For thou, O Lord, are a shield because He's a shield around us. He is our glory and the lifter of our head. Begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you that you are a shield. That God, you are a shield. You are a shield all around us. You are the shield all around us. When pressure arises in the family, when pressures arises in the career at work, when pressures arises, Father God, in our health, when pressures arise, Father God, concerning our children, concerning our spouses, concerning, Father God, this or the other issue, when pressure arises concerning our extended families, when pressure arises from the God concerning our health, our future, the future of our children. We know that you are a shield. Lord God, shield us, shield us from all these pressures of life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Prayer point number two. It's a bit of a long scripture, but it's powerful. Listen to this. It says in Psalms 118, verse 10 to 14, four verses. Psalms 118, verse 10 to 14. It says in the NIV, all nations surround me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. They surround me on every side, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. They swarm around me. They are swarmed around me like bees, but, where, but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. Ah, in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Wow. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my defense. Oto David, Treat a treat, 
This is the statement of David. He declares victory with his mouth even before he sees it. He says the enemy comes. He rises against me. He says like a wall. He rises. He says I will destroy him. I will cut him down. I will cut down the enemy. He says he pushes me and pushes my back against the wall. I will cut him down. He says he rises and he comes to me. He swarms over me like a swarm of bees. Like bees swarming over me. He says I will cut him down. So that is a statement of intent. You see, he declares victory before it even manifests. The Lord will give me victory on every nobody tala le mali, nobani tala le lobuchelwan, nobani tala lantoni, nobani tala le pilo, nobani tala le lempang, nobani tala le mfundo, u tito edim konza, uza gundi pulo yiso. The Lord that I serve will give me victory. He says in the in the in the in the latter verse uh, part parts of that verse, verse 14, he says, The Lord will help me. The Lord is my strength. He says, Though they push me against the wall. He says they will he says they will burn up like fire. They will be taken away with fire. In other words God will extinguish. God will, will just burn them up around me. May that be your testimony. We take along. We die. 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 Liga in Zegi, Liga was no Pumelele, Esali Kanda, Satanesa, Esal Kogelele Trebolake, Efrugu Sasela Galo, Usa Veluti Palpita to the Tandas alone Tandas. While the enemy is still busy forming that weapon against your life, you need to declare like David, the Lord shall cut. He says, I will cut them down. He says, they will be defeated because the Lord is with me. Begin to make that statement and proclamation. The Lord is on your side. Pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We refuse to give up. We refuse to give in. We refuse, Father God, to be to be to be under pressure, under pressure of the enemy, under pressure of circumstances. Sometimes circumstances are a pressure. Even sometimes we pressurize our own selves with with wanting to perform, with wanting to do this, wanting to do that. You are a shield around us. You protect us even from our own selves. You keep us safe. You keep us, Father God, collected. Pressure Pita was on this fire like a pressure. Sit Ella Gossi Ossi Cusele Ostri Tatrita Yonkindo Elxinongileo Elum Elum Gaining Cos Efnu Chabala Lisa Efnu Tugubulala Efnu Tita Ubomibet Gamma Liga. So, Father, we pray that you will rise and defend our cause. We pray that Father God, as David began to proclaim the same way that he did when he said to Goliath, You come to me with a spear and a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord God Almighty of the armies of Israel today. I will cut your head and feed it to the ravens. What a statement of intent. What a confidence. That help us to be as confident. Help us to be as courageous. Even before we start the battle, let us begin to make a decree. Let us begin to make an announcement. Let us begin to declare that the Lord will be our strength. The Lord will be our defender. Masi tete nkosi ndu ngegenze. Masi tete nkosi singa raiboni. 
Goba gosu lo iso lo etu lo semi lo leso lo semi lebeni etu. Ulo iso lo etu lo semi lebeni. Is interest is tetai. Kosi zaza kosi pa ulo iso no ba zaza zaza kosi pa ba so iso. Sidi na msanje kosi. Sidi ko iso ngi na yenteta. E o o ibeka e mi lebeni etu. E kameni liga su Christu wasen as reja. All right. Prayer point number three. Prayer point number three. The Bible says in First Kings chapter five. Verse 3 to 5 in the NIV version. You know that because of the wars waged against my father David from all, all sides, he could not build a temple for the name of the Lord, his God, until the Lord put his enemies under his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. This is Solomon speaking. And there is no adversary or disaster. I intend therefore... To build a temple for the name of the Lord my God. As the Lord told my father David when he said, Your son whom I, uh, whom I will put on the throne in your place will build the temple for my name. So remove all the obstacles that are around us, the walls. You see, this is what made Solomon so powerful. What made Solomon so powerful is that he fought, David fought the battles for Solomon. He removed all the enemies so that Solomon would glad. May you and I fight for our next generation. May you and I fight for our next generation so that the next generation do not have to fight the battles we fought, but they would build on the strength we have we have we have accomplished on the victories we have accomplished is izukulwa nezilandela abantwana bakho mabanga lwi amadabi obosu obosilwa wona abantwana bakho wena ilwa wonke amadabi uvula indlela ukuze uthixo enze abantwana bakho bathini bavele nje baqhubekeke baba babe baba baye zibaye maqhabini you know baba bona ukuhle bukathixo ngenxa ba wena so wenza umsebenzi obufune ba wenzile izizukulwana ezizayo mazinga gqitha bugqithe khona mazivele zikwazi bazoyise ngoba soyisile wena then the generation to come solomon was so was so thankful he says my father has fought all these battles and removed all the things today i'm just gliding he says he could not build god a temple because he was busy fighting there's things we cannot necessarily do that god told us to do because we are still fighting Fighting, fighting foundational issues that have been there for generations so that your children don't have to fight them. Fighting issues of poverty, fighting issues of, you know, curses and, and, and all sorts of, you know, demonic things, you know, inher demonic inheritances. You must fight them so that your children don't have to fight them demons. So it's important that we will see and birth a Solomon generation that is able to glide and build on the strength of their fathers and build on the strength of their mothers in the next generation. So let us pray today and also pray for ourselves that the Lord will give us rest all around, that the Lord will give us rest all around, that the Lord will give us rest all around. Because when you rest from your labor, the Lord is able to help you. So let us pray. Whether your children are saved or not, when you pray and stand in the gap, there's no way God will not answer. There's a way God God will answer because you have fought the battles on their behalf. And one day they will have a light on, an aha moment, and realize mom was right, dad was right, you know, my sister was right, my brother was right, my dad was right, my aunt was right, whoever it is who represents that head figure in their lives. So may God give you the tenacity to keep fighting those battles until you win for the sake of the next generation. Begin to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
We pray that you may help us like David fought the battles so that the next generation will glide and move from strength to strength. Help us to fight all the necessary battles we need to fight in our generation for the sake of the next generation so that the next generation will glide, so that the next generation will build, so that the next generation will soar and not need to fight the battles we are fighting in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will give us rest all around that father god we will rest from all these all these pandemics father god we pray now in the context of this current season we pray that you will give us rest tiko kausi puku pumla kunga biko zintu ezi velayo ezi za pide nkosi zi kalise panzi stela nkosu pumla uguze sikwazu pila uguze sikwazu nkosi ugudi sikonda na nomsebe nzo kufunera suwe nzile suwe nzila wena eka meni liga yezo help us father to recover give us rest from deaths and rest from crisis and trauma so that we will be able to focus our attention in building and advancing the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus we pray prayer point number three uh, number four rather a quick one it says Psalms 97 verse 3 fire goes before him and consumes his foes on every side may fire goes before may fire go before us and consume the enemy on every side father we pray that your fire will consume the enemy on every every side victory on every side whether the whether the enemy comes from the past. Let your fire consume. Let there be nothing from the past that will haunt our lives and slow us down. Whether the enemy comes on the sides, which is the current place where we are, let the fire of God consume that nothing will be able to hinder us on the side. Whether the enemy comes from the front in the future where we don't see, Father, let the fire of God consume so that nothing will hinder us from going forward. In the mighty name of Jesus. The last prayer point, and we are wrapping it up. It's in two versions, NIV and NLT. I will read it in the NLT version. It says, we, have, we now have this light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like fragile clay, clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God, not from ourselves. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but we are not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but we are never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. That's who we are, folks. That's our God. Masimbule lutito. Ugutu noba zivele zinto. Singa lekwa. Singa, 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 singa chuchi iswa. Koto asite si chabalale. Asite si pelele li temba. Ugutu tito ya hamba nati. Elutito. Agwenzi ugutu nga pelele li temba. Noba soku sekenze gantoni. Even if you may be cast down. But ask that the Lord will help you. That you are never destroyed. Because we are indestructible. That is the material we are made out of. Not by our own strength by the strength that God provides and gives us. Give God the glory. Father, thank you. We give you glory and honor and praise that you are God who protects us because we've got this treasure in earthen vessels. The great things we have inside of us do not come from us. They come from you. We are just but clay. We can break any time. But Father, you have given us such great things. You have entrusted us with mysteries and you have entrusted us with revelations. And for this, we give you praise and honor and glory. And we say, Father, receive your honor, receive your glory, receive your praise, and help us to build on the victory that you have given us on every side. Though we may be cast down, but we will not be destroyed. Though we may be perplexed and be amazed and be shocked by things, but we will never lose hope because you are God who gives us strength and who gives us hope. In Jesus' name we pray and God's people say amen and amen. Let's receive grace together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy 
Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy, good works, signs and wonders shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord, winning souls, making disciples, planting churches forever and forever. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you. Feel free to offer and give as we always do after prayer. Thank you so much and thank you for those who are offering their tithes and offering their, uh, you know, their givings and their offerings. May God bless you, cause his face to shine upon you. May God open doors for you, for your children, for your family. May he shower you with untold blessings. May he shower you with blessings that overflow, blessings that are running over, that overtake you. May you find yourself swimming in the goodness and the favor of God. May 2021 be the year of your goodness, the year of your favor, the year of your breakthrough because you are faithful in little things like money. Those are little things. God will cause you to be faithful. He will entrust you with greater favor, greater responsibilities, greater levels of heights. Let that be your portion. I bless you and I bless you and I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.